There's a fun festival happening this weekend where there's great food, music, and games for the kids. Our friends at the St. Rafka Festival are throwing their fifth annual celebration this weekend. And one of the star attractions is the homemade Middle Eastern food, which always gets all of us here excited. And joining us are the owners of Beirut Bakery in Redford Township, Milad and Lila Hallis. And you are going to make for us one of the most popular foods at the festival, which is a falafel sandwich, right? You're right. This is very exciting. So you brought some other examples of food that'll be at the festival, which you also have at your store. Mm -hmm. So just tell us some of this stuff before we make the sandwich. We have the hummus, the dip, mm -hmm. and we have the tabbouleh. Mm -hmm. And then and my favorite, everything. Baklava. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the falafel. We have uh, uh, with the jalapeno. Okay. Uh, the hot ones. So, and those are the ingredients that we put in the falafel. Right. In the sandwich. Okay, so let's do it. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll help you if you want me to. Okay. Let's start. They start with regular pita bread, right? That's no. right. Okay. Which we make in our store. Oh, okay. So let's talk about your falafel. How is it different from, is, is, is it different from other falafel that we had? Because sometimes I we taste do the it, difference. We do it fresh. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, from fava beans and chickpea. And we blend it with, you know, some spices and, you know, vegetable okay. things, onion, parsley. Okay, you can't tell and me all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, all right, let's make the sandwich. Okay, that's... All right, so as we're working on this, let's bring in Father Tony, mm -hmm. Father Tony Massad, to tell us more about the festival. Thank you for being here, Father Thank Tony. You. So Good come to on here. and get in here with us. Okay. Of course, everybody loves falafel, but uh, and uh, food and the kids' games and everything. Tell us everything that people will be able to find at the festival. At our festival, we'll have a whole family atmosphere and family fun. We have rides for the kids. We have a little uh, kitty train. We'll have. We'll have bounce houses. We will have. Uh, adult stuff like a premium bar and a few other activities. We have a hookah lounge and we have this great homemade food that young and old love. I love it. So That's very, very true. So does the festival benefit any programs? Because there's a lot of fun, but there's another component to it. Correct. So this year we're very happy to begin a St. Rufka scholarship program wow. for our seniors. And our youth group at the moment in the past and will continue to not only do activities at the church to benefit the church, but they must be active in the community. We've helped at St. Christine's Soup Kitchen, Habitat for Humanity, and we collect different items during the holidays, so they have to have all of those components together. Okay, so. all right, so this is the fifth annual celebration, Correct. right? How does it feel to get to this milestone? Good, <laughs> good. Uh, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of <laughs> as work. As we continue. It is a lot. But it's, it is really wonderful, and I have beautiful people to help me at the church and bring this cultural activity and festival together. Right, and expose and you know, give everyone a chance to come and enjoy. How's the sandwiches going? Good. They look Very beautiful. Good. You know what I love about Middle Eastern food? It's so beautiful to look at. Yes. You know what I mean? You eat with your eyes, right, before you start eating with your stomach. So the St. Rafka Festival is at 32765 Linden Street in Livonia. It's this Saturday from 4 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And Sunday from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. And for more information, visit their website, strafkafestival.com.